President Trump shocking us once again this morning, giving a cold heave ho to Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. Sexy Rexy, we hardly knew you. The president did it with a tweet that read, quote, Mike Pompeo, director of the CIA, will become our new Secretary of State. He will do a fantastic job. Thank you to Rex Tillerson for his service. Gina Haspel will become the new director of the CIA and the first woman so chosen. Congratulations to all. The kicker here, we're told Tillerson didn't even know he was getting fired when he met with the press a few hours later. He thanked everyone but the president. So to my colleagues in the State Department and the interagency, much remains to be done to achieve our mission on behalf of the American people with allies and with partners. I close by thanking all for the privilege of serving beside you for the last 14 months. Importantly, to the 300 plus million Americans, thank you for your devotion to a free and open society. Oh, reminds me of Brett Favre. Uh, and the big shakeup coming just before planned talks with North Korean dictator Kim Jong un. So, why now? Joining me, Fox News politics editor. It is Chris Steyerwalt, live in D.C. Chris, welcome back to the show. Good to be with you, ma'am. So Rex Tillerson reportedly called the president a moron. He, uh, he gave Russia the what for after that assassination in London. Mm -hmm. And who knows what it was exactly, what the straw was that broke Rex the camel's back. What are your thoughts? Uh, in talking to folks uh, at the State Department around the administration today, uh, basically what you come up with is that the, the question on uh, the way that the president uh, hosed Tillerson on North Korea was material, but I think the tariffs were a pretty big issue. Uh, Trump is very sensitive to the fact that the people in his administration, people in his party, who are free traders, free market people generally, don't want to go sell his tariffs. He lost his chief economic advisor over the question. Mm -hmm. uh, and Tillerson, I think, uh, as a, a, a global corporate dude from Exxon, I don't think he was a very likely candidate to go out and try and sell protectionism. So I think that was a big part of it. And I think the other part of it, I think what's noteworthy here is that we are seeing Trump return to the national nationalist, populist version of himself that he campaigned on. He's out talking about building a wall today. He's talking about a, a canning Tillerson, though I do think it is also telling that Trump did it by a tweet and he wouldn't talk to Tillerson. He waited till Tillerson was overseas and heading back, did it before he got back, did it by tweet. I think the president did not want to have the conversation with Tillerson. And I also assume the president is not looking forward to, or unless he's already had it, the conversation he's going to have with James Mattis about these on, uh, this ongoing turmoil in the national security apparatus. Yes, and there might be more departures in the near future. But let's talk about Tillerson for a little bit because he did not get universal glowing reviews. Uh, it said that he was kind of lazy at the State Department. <laughs> he, he only made a few phone calls a day and was slashing budgets left and right, uh, which led senior diplomats to complain publicly about being critically shorthanded. So that's where they started. That's where Tillerson started because he took this very laconic Texan uh, watching and not saying stuff for weeks and months at the beginning. And this, of course, frustrated uh, people at the State Department, not to mention people at the State Department who do not think that a, a petro oligarch kind of guy uh, was their setting. But as time went on, Tillerson won a lot of respect at that agency. And in talking to people, even Democrats who are, are uh, in career positions at the State Department mm -hmm. today, you get the sense that they came and you saw in the emotional way that he talked about it and the fact that this is a guy who got choked up talking about this service, I think in the end that they looked at him as an ally and some, if you can, if you can get the State Department to respect you at the same time that you're trying to slash their budget by 40 percent, you've done something pretty good. That is true. He has inspired uh, some loyalty from some of the people serving beneath him there.